Peace and Pan Africanism, peace and Pan Africanism. Peace and Pan Africanism, peace and Pan Africanism. Peace and Pan Africanism, peace and Pan Africanism. This is your big brother, Dr. Umar Ifatunde Ogun Tade. Brothers and sisters, I'm looking forward to seeing everybody at HBCU Ever Waters University. How you doing, sister? Pull your zipper up, princess. I'm looking forward to seeing you all at HBCU Edward Waters University one week from today, September the 26th, HBCU Edward Waters University in Jacksonville, Florida. The event is sold out. The event is sold out. The Dr. Umar debut power lecture at HBCU Edward Waters University in Jacksonville, Florida on Thursday, September the 26th at 7 p.m., the event is sold out. Now, I want to see everybody for the October 2nd Nat Turner Earth Day celebration. I want to see everybody on October the 2nd in Virginia for the Nat Turner Earth Day celebration. I want to see everybody on October the 2nd in Virginia for the Nat Turner Earth Day celebration. Go to natturnerlibrary.com. Please go to natturnerlibrary.com. Please go to natturnerlibrary.com. I want to see everybody in Toronto, Canada. Where my Toronto Canadians at? Where my Toronto Africans? Where my Canadian Africans? Where my Toronto Africans? Where my Canadian Africans? We got a three, a triple event in Toronto, Canada. My first visit in 12 years. We got a triple event in Toronto, Canada. My first event in 12 years. We got a meet and greet. On Monday night, October the 4th, we have another meet and greet. Excuse me. We have a meet and greet on Friday night, October the 4th. We have a meet and greet on Saturday, October the 5th. And then the main event is on Sunday, October the 6th in Toronto, Canada. If you live in Canada, I want to see my Nova Scotia Africans. I want to see my Montreal Africans. I want to see my Toronto Africans. October 4th, 5th, and 6th. If you need to fly for Toronto, text my cell. If you need to fly for Toronto, text my cell. 215 215-989-9858. 215-989-9858. Couple things, couple things, couple things I want to touch on. Couple things, couple things, couple things I want to touch on. First of all, hit the Cash App, dollar sign FDMG School. First of all, hit the Cash App, dollar sign FDMG School. Second of all, hit the PayPal, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. If you go to natturnerlibrary.com, Dallas, Texas, October the 12th. Dallas, Texas, October the 12th. Dallas, Texas, October the 12th, brothers and sisters. Wednesday, I have a 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time podcast interview with our elder comedian, Michael Collier. And then I have a 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time podcast interview with our comedian brother, Donnell Rawlings. So that's back-to-back podcast interviews this coming Wednesday with elder Michael Collier and brother Donnell Rawlings. So let me get into a couple things right now. Let me get into a couple things right now. Let me get into a couple things. First of all, some of you are incorrectly reporting that black people have been voting Democrat consistently for 60 years. Some of you have been incorrectly reporting that black people have been voting Democrat consistently for 60 years. Some of you have been incorrectly reporting that black people have been voting Democrat incorrectly for 60 years we have not been voting democrat for 60 years we have been voting democrat overwhelmingly since 1936 that is 88 years 
American Africans have been voting overwhelmingly Democrat since the 1936 election. That is 88 years. The American African has been voting overwhelmingly Democrat since the 1936 election. That is 88 years. 88 years. 88 years. 88 years. Not only that, we started to make our great escape off the Republican Party plantation onto the Democratic Party plantation during the 1932 election. The American African began to make our great escape from the Republican Party plantation to the Democratic Party plantation in the 1932 election. Roosevelt became president in 32, but Hoover still controlled the majority of the black vote. Although Hoover still controlled the majority of the black vote in the 1932 election, it was one of the biggest shifts that we have seen of American Africans from Republican Party plantation to Democratic Party plantation. That was 1932. That was 92 years ago. 92 years ago. Roosevelt would take the majority of the black vote four years later in the 36th election. That was 88 years ago. I don't know where y'all got 60 years at. I don't know where y'all got 60 years at. We've been voting overwhelmingly Democrat for 88 years. Roosevelt won the 1936 election with 71% of the black vote. Roosevelt overwhelmingly won the 1936 presidential election with 71% of the black vote. And we've been voting overwhelmingly Democrat since 1936 since 1936 that's 88 years so i just wanted to clarify that i just wanted to clarify that i just wanted to clarify that so let me go to sean puffy combs if i can for one minute let me go to sean puffy combs if i can for one minute let me go to sean puffy combs if i can for one minute now we've been down this road before when we discussed star kelly We've been down this road before when we discussed Bill Cosby. We've been down this road before when we discuss, discussed R. Kelly. We've been down this road before when we discussed Bill Cosby. First of all, you low vibrational Negro peeing Democratic Party plantation roaches, let me say this to you. Let me say this to you. I do not support Donald Trump any more than I support Kamala Harris. To you low vibration, politically uneducated, Democratic Party plantation roaches. You're not even slaves anymore, you're roaches. I don't support Donald Trump any more than I support Kamala Harris. I don't support either one of them. So please stop the cat. Please stop the cat. Please stop the cat. Now, what we see going on with Sean Puffy Combs, who doesn't appear to be an angel by any stretch of the imagination, but I want to draw a very, very clear distinction here for you low vibration Democratic Party plantation roaches. I want to draw a very clear distinction. Being a freak is not against the law of the United States of America. Being a sexual deviant is not against the laws of the United States of America. Having a thousand bottles of dollar store baby oil in your home is not against the laws of the United States of America. Last time I checked, President George Washington was a rapist of African women. Last time I checked, President Thomas Jefferson was not only a rapist of African women, he was a pedophile against black girls. So being a sexual deviant is not against the law in America because America's greatest heroes and presidents were pedophiles and sexual deviants. I want you to understand, overstand, and understand. How we doing, young sisters? Y'all be careful out here. So I want you to understand, overstand, and understand what I'm saying right now. Okay? If being a sexual freak was a crime in America, 
you would have never heard the name of George Washington and Thomas Jefferson. Let us be absolutely clear. Didn't Bill Clinton get fellatioed in the Oval Office? Did not William Jefferson Clinton commit adultery and get fellatioed in the Oval Office of the White House and then lied under oath? True or false, brothers and sisters? True or false, brothers and sisters? True or false? Did William Jefferson Clinton, did he or did he not get his phallus gummy beard in the White House Oval Office? Did or did he not get gummy beard by Monica Lewinsky in the White House? Was Thomas Jefferson a pedophile? Did George Washington rape black women and girls? So being a freak and a pedophile is not illegal in the United States of America. A thousand bottles of dollar store baby oil is against no law in this country. Is Diddy a freak? Quite possibly. Is he a sexual deviant? Quite possibly. Does he belong to the rainbow gang? Quite possibly. But I'm looking for evidence that he broke a law. I've been watching some of these Caucasian news streams. I've been watching some of these Caucasian news streams. I've been watching some of these Caucasian news streams. And what I find most interesting, CNN. CNBC, Fox News, even when I read the New York Times, the Philadelphia Inquirer, USA Today, the LA Times, what I'm having trouble wrapping my mind around, brothers and sisters, what the prince of Pan-Africanism is having trouble wrapping my mind around, is they say that he beat and he stomped out Mrs. Cassie Ventura, which the video clearly proves and which I will not support nor defend. He stomped her out. They proved that he had a thousand bottles of baby oil. They proved that he be having freak offs all over the country, particularly in New York, Miami and Los Angeles. What I have yet to hear is any evidence that Sean Puffy Combs is guilty of a federal crime. Let me explain something to you low vibration Negroes. Let me explain something to you low vibration Negroes. The federal government does not prosecute sex crimes. The federal government does not prosecute sex crimes. Sex crimes are prosecuted by the state, but Sean Puffy Combs was arrested by the feds. I want you to listen up real good. I want you to listen up real good to Dr. Umar Ifatunde Oguntade. I'm going to say it again for the Republican Party plantation slaves. And I'm going to say it again for the Democratic Party plantation slaves. The federal government does not prosecute sex crimes. Sex crimes are prosecuted by the state. The U.S. Constitution does not discuss sex crimes. The United States Constitution does not discuss sex crimes. So now, Sean Puffy Combs is not being indicted for sex crimes. That is not the primary charge because the federal government does not process sex crimes. He's being charged with racketeering conspiracy to engage in crime across state borders. In other words, sex is the object, but it is not the subject. I need y'all to understand what I'm saying. When the government prosecuted the Italian mafia, when the government prosecuted the Italian mafia, when the government prosecuted the Italian mafia, it wasn't because they were selling dope and engaged in embezzlement and things like that. Extortion 
It's because they did it across state lines. Once you engage in crime across state lines, it is now a federal crime. So it is not the sex per se that got Puffy arrested. It's the fact that he's being accused of doing that and other things across state lines. I need you to understand, overstand, and understand. I need you to understand, overstand, and understand. The federal government does not prosecute sex crimes. The federal government does not prosecute sex crimes. But if you are engaging in a federal crime of any sort that crosses state lines, if you are engaged in any kind of a crime that crosses state lines, the feds are now involved. He is not primarily being charged and indicted over sex crimes. Murder is involved. Racketeering is involved. Extortion is involved. And most pointedly for you low vibration Negroes, let me be very clear. He is not being charged with domestic violence against any woman. He is not being charged with a federal crime for stomping out Mrs. Casey Ventura. And I'm sorry that happened to that young lady. No woman should ever suffer that type of abuse at the hands of a man. His major sex crime in the federal case is not the freak offs. It's not beating on women. The sex crime against Puff Daddy in the federal case is the transport of women across state lines for sex. Let me say it again. It is not domestic violence. It is not pedophilia. I'm going to say it again. Sean Puffy Combs' federal charges have little, if anything, to do with domestic abuse or pedophilia. His major sex crime federally is he's being accused of transporting women across state lines to engage in sex what we call prostitution not casey not the freak offs not underage girls but prostitution why am i bringing this up because i don't support prostitution either i do not support men paying for the sugar box i do not support black women having to sexually exploit their sugar box in order to pay their bills with that being said Prostitution is the oldest female business on the planet Earth. Prostitution is the oldest female business on the planet Earth. Prostitution is the oldest female business on the planet Earth. It is the sexual trafficking that Sean Puffy Combs is being accused of. Not domestic abuse, not freak offs, not stomping out Cassie not engaging in sex with underage women. It is interstate sexual trafficking. That is the charge. Why am I bringing this up? I'm bringing this up. Peace God. Because when I listen to the news, they're not talking about the evidence against Sean Puffy Combs. When I listen to the news, they're not talking about the evidence of Sean Puffy Combs. When I listen to the news, I have yet to hear anybody give me a specific piece of interstate sex trafficking evidence against Sean Puffy Combs. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it for the low political IQ Negroes. I'm going to say it for the average political IQ Negroes. And I'm going to say it for the high IQ Negroes. I haven't seen or heard a single piece of evidence against Sean Puffy Gomes. I ain't read it in the New York Times. I ain't read it in the Philadelphia Inquirer. I ain't heard it on CNN. I ain't seen it on headline news. Where is the evidence that Sean Puffy Combs engaged in interstate sex trafficking? I keep hearing about Cassie when I turn on the news. Why are we hearing about Cassie when Cassie has nothing to do with the federal indictment? 
I don't think any black man should have a thousand bottles of baby oil. I don't think any black man needs a thousand bottles of baby oil. But I haven't seen anywhere in federal law where owning a thousand bottles of baby oil is a federal crime. Brothers and sisters, are you with me so far? Brothers and sisters, are you with me so far? Do you understand, overstand, and understand what the most requested black scholar in the world is saying right now? Do you understand and overstand and understand what the most requested black scholar in the world is saying right now? Do you understand, overstand, and understand what the premier pan-Africanist on the planet is saying to you right now? Baby oil is not a federal crime. Stomping out Cassie, he was not charged with a crime. The freak-offs are not crimes. So why do we keep hearing about Cassie? Why do we keep hearing about baby oil? Why do we keep hearing about freak-offs? Where are the federal charges and why are the charges being sealed? Why did the feds seal the charges against Sean Puffy Combs? I'm going to tell you one reason why the feds sealed the charges against Sean Puffy Combs. One of the biggest reasons they sealed the charges against Sean Puffy Combs is because the evidence is probably weak. The evidence is probably weak. And because the evidence is probably weak that he is guilty of interstate sex trafficking. And because the evidence is probably weak that he is guilty of interstate sex trafficking, they had to seal the charges. They had to hide the charges from you and I. They had to hide the charges from you and I long enough for the public execution to be carried out. Are y'all listening to me right now? For all my political scientists, I need y'all to listen to me. Most black people are too emotional to engage in a rational, logical argument about this situation. Most black people are too emotionally immature and politically uneducated to engage in a rational conversation about this topic. So I am only talking to Africans with a high EQ and a high PIQ. Only if you have a high emotional IQ and a high political IQ, I'm talking to you. The emotionally uncontrolled and, and, and undisciplined Democratic and Republican Party plantation slaves, this is not for you. My feminists, this is not for you. Beta males, this is not for you. Why is it that the charges are not being disclosed? Because they need Sean Puffy Combs like Bill Cosby, like R. Kelly, and R. Kelly very well may have been guilty. But we know R. Kelly is not in jail for sex crimes. R. Kelly is in jail because he didn't want to sell his publishing and his masters to a certain company. And Bill Cosby went to jail because he didn't want to let the oil company drill under his house in Massachusetts. One thing is for certain, two things is for sure. Sean Puffy Combs is not in jail for sex crimes. He may be guilty of sex crimes, but he's not in jail for sex crimes. He may be guilty of sex crimes, but he's not in jail for sex crimes. The reason the charges are sealed is they are weak, but they still need Puffy's reputation to be completely destroyed. So even if he beats the charges, nobody will ever allow him on a respectable platform again. This is a public media execution of another blackmail mogul. I don't care how you feel about him personally. I don't care how you feel about him emotionally. I don't care how you feel about him privately. The reason I'm speaking up, out and against the lynching of Sean Puffy Combs. The reason I'm speaking up, out and against the public execution of Sean Puffy Combs isn't because of Sean Puffy Combs. I don't know that man. I've never met that man. I can't say anything about that man, but I do know, I do know there's about 20 million black men in America. I do know that. 
I do know there's about 20 million black men in America who can't afford the lawyers that Puffy can afford, who can't afford the publicists that Puffy can afford, who can't afford the legal defense that Puffy can afford. So I'm not speaking out for Sean Puffy Combs per se. I'm speaking out for all black men because any black man can be unfairly charged and unfairly executed in both the public court and the legal court. Let's go back to R. Kelly and Bill Cosby. Let's go back to R. Kelly and Bill Cosby. Let's go back to R. Kelly and Bill Cosby. Notice how the public media lynching began before we knew the details of either case. Y'all remember that? Bill Cosby, we didn't know anything about that case, but he was still being lynched in the media. R. Kelly, we knew very little. How you doing, beautiful? We knew very little about the R. Kelly case while he was still being lynched in the public. Sean Puffy Combs right now is being lynched in the public and we ain't got no details. You know why? Because the United States government knows something that black people still can't comprehend. The United States government understands something that black people still can't comprehend. The United States government is very clear about something that black people still don't understand. If you want to destroy a black man, you don't do it in the courtroom. You do it in the court of public opinion. If you really want to destroy a black man, you don't do it in the courtroom. You do it in the court of public opinion. Look what they did to Michael Jackson. Look what they did to Michael Jackson because he wanted to buy Marvel Comics. Look what they did to the great, legendary Michael Jackson, highest grossing artist in human history. Michael Jackson was accused of molesting white boys. Even though he beat the case, when you think of Michael Jackson, you still think of the pedophile case, even though the white boys came out and exonerated Michael Jackson. The white boys came out after he was already assassinated by the music industry. White boys came out and exonerated Michael Jackson, but it didn't matter. His credibility was already done. What I'm saying, brothers and sisters, what I'm saying, brothers and sisters, what I'm saying, brothers and sisters, they know what they're doing. They know black people love to see successful black people fail. They know black people love to see successful black people suffer. They know black people love to see successful black people taken down. Whether it's Michael Jackson. Peace and love, African. Good to see you, man. Appreciate that, brother. I ain't gonna even ask you about Puff. I'm talking about it now on the live. Yes, sir. All right, God. One love, one love, one love. I don't need to be careful, my brother. I don't need to be careful. One thing about me, I need you to understand this. I am not a celebrity. I am an African freedom fighter. I need y'all to get this. I may have celebrity popularity. I may have celebrity notoriety. I may have a celebrity following. Dr. Umar Ifatunde is not an actor. I'm not a dancer. I'm not a basketball player. I'm not a football player. I'm not a comedian. I am not a celebrity of any type. I am a pan-Africanist freedom fighter. I am a revolutionary pan-African nationalist, so I don't have to watch what I say. I don't have any handlers. I don't have Caucasian handlers. I don't have Arab handlers. I don't have Latino handlers. I don't have untouchable handlers. Handlers. I don't have Kamala Harris's people handlers. I don't have handlers of any kind. I say what I want to say. I say what I want to say. I don't scratch if I don't itch and I don't dance if I don't like the music. You talking to a free black man. You talking to one of the freest black men you'll ever meet in your life. You hear me? So what I'm saying is because the evidence against Puffy is probably weak, they need to make sure he was thoroughly lynched in the court of public opinion before he goes to trial, so just like Michael Jackson, 
even if he is exonerated of the charges, the public smear campaign against that man would have been so great that he will never be able to come back from a public shaming. This is a lynching. And the media knows black people are so emotional. The white owned media knows black people are so emotional. They know white people are so emotional. Black people are so emotional that you're not even bothering to recognize they keep talking about Cassie, but Cassie is not a charge. They keep talking about baby oil, but baby oil is not a charge. They keep talking about weapons in his mansion, but I never heard anybody say that he didn't own the weapons. You are allowed to own as many guns as you can afford. So why they keep telling us about Puffy's guns and Puffy's rifles, but they never said that the rifles and the guns were illegally owned. They keep talking about freak offs, but he's not being federally charged with a freak off. I'm telling you, I told you this with Bill Cosby. I told you this with R. Kelly. I told you this with Bill Cosby. I told you this with R. Kelly. I'm telling you this with Puffy Combs. I told you this with Michael Jackson. I told you this with Mike. This is not about Puff. And I'm going to block you for being a coon if you say another disrespectful, irrelevant comment. We're not talking about Puffy. We're talking about the image of black men. And we're talking about the fact that what they can do to Puffy, they can do to other black men who cannot afford the lawyers or the publicity that Puffy is getting. If we didn't let him lynch Bill Cosby, there would have never been an R. Kelly. And if we didn't let him lynch R. Kelly, there would have never been another Sean Puffy Combs. The question is, who is next? The question is, who is next? The question is, who is next? Now, let me get back on target. The strategy with Sean Puffy Combs, just like the strategy with R. Kelly, just like the strategy with Bill Cosby, just like the strategy with Michael Jackson, is to simply bankrupt them through criminal charges. Are y'all listening? Are y'all listening? The strategy is to bankrupt Puffy Combs in court. Bankrupt him in court. Bankrupt Bill Cosby in court. Bankrupt R. Kelly in court. Bankrupt Michael Jackson in court. They want to bankrupt. They want to bankrupt. They want to bankrupt. So by the time they get out of court, even if they win, even if they win OJ Simpson, even if they beat the charges, OJ Simpson, even if they beat the charges, OJ Simpson, you will be so broke that nobody will want to be bothered with you and you'll never be able to build yourself back up. That's what this is about. Now, what are some possible reasons other than sex? Because we know the United States government don't care about no sex crimes. And this is why when black people start talking to me about some Sean Puffy comb sex crimes, I look the other direction. If you're talking about sex crimes in the federal government, we ain't got nothing to talk about. Didn't the federal government engage in a 246 year sex crime called slavery against the African race? I'm going to say it again for the Negroes in the back. I'm going to say it again for the Negroes in the front. I'm going to say it again for the Negroes in a minute. Did this government engage in a 246 year sex crime known as slavery? True or false, brothers and sisters? True or false? brothers and sisters true or false did the united states government engage in a 246 year sex crime known as slavery yes or no yes or no so if the united states government was never prosecuted convicted or held accountable for the 246 year sex crime known as slavery you want me to support Puffy going to jail 
because he owned a thousand bottles of baby oil. Get your ass up out my face. Get your ass up out my face. Get your simping ass out my damn face right now. You ain't dealing with no emotional Negro idiot. You ain't dealing with no emotional Democratic Party plantation slave. You ain't dealing with no emotional Republican Party plantation slave. You're dealing with the premier political scientist in black America. The premier Pan-Africanist on the planet. I'm going to call it how I see it and let the chips fall where they may. You know why Puffy got arrested? Three of the main reasons Puffy got arrested. Number one, Sean Puffy Combs sued the parent liquor company of his drink for not properly advertising its black clients. You need me, King, or you good? Sean Puffy Combs sued the parent liquor company of the drink that he sells. He accused them of racial discrimination and marketing and advertising. Right after Sean Combs filed suit against that liquor company, all his videos and all his freak off information went public. Number two, Sean Puffy Combs started a political party to, to overthrow Donald Trump's regime. Several years ago, Sean Puffy Combs started a black political party to dissuade black people from voting for president, former president Donald Trump. Not only that, so he sued one of the most powerful liquor, liquor companies in the world. He started a black political party to undermine Donald Trump. And the third reason Sean Puffy Combs got arrested at this time, the third reason Sean Puffy Combs got arrested at this time, and the reason they won't give him no bail. Let's deal with the no bail for a minute. Can we deal with the no bail for a minute? Because they love giving black men no bail. R. Kelly didn't get no bail. Sean Combs didn't get no bail. Bill Cosby barely got bail. Michael Jackson barely got bail. You know why Puffy can't get no bail? Why do white celebrities always get bail? Why do white celebrities always get bail? How the hell is Sean Puffy Combs a flight risk? Who the hell don't know who Sean Puffy Combs is? Who the hell don't know who Sean Puffy Combs is? Who the hell don't know who Sean Puffy Combs is? Get your ass up out my face. Sean Puffy Combs wasn't denied bail because he's a flight risk. How the hell a man that popular? Everybody know who Sean Puffy Combs is. He's an icon in the entertainment industry. He's an icon in the entertainment industry. He got children in this country. You think Sean Puffy Combs never wants to see his children again? He wasn't denied bail because he's a flight risk, you idiot. Sean Puffy Combs wasn't denied bail because he's a flight risk, you idiot. Sean Puffy Combs was denied bail to make sure he cannot campaign for Scamala Harris. Sean Puffy Combs is a loyal Democratic Party plantation supporter. Sean Puffy Combs is a very loyal Democratic Party plantation supporter. They had to take him down before he went on the campaign trail for Scamala Harris. Let me say it again. Let me say it again. Puffy is in jail because it is election season. Let me say it one more time. Puffy is in jail because it is election season. Let me say it one more time. Puffy is in jail because it is election season, brothers and sisters. Am I excusing anything that the brother did? Absolutely not. Am I excusing Anything that the brother did wrong? Absolutely not. I'm telling black men and black women who care about the African race. Peace, God. I'm telling black men and black women who care about the African race. You better be careful about letting the government get away 
with lynching your celebrities because you like to see black people fall. You better be real careful in letting this government get away. We're lynching famous and successful black people because you like to see black people fail. Because if they can do this to Sean Puffy Combs, if they can do this to Bill Cosby, if they can do this to Michael Jackson, they can do it to you. Black men, you should not be celebrating this because you might be next. Black women, you need to stop celebrating the downfall of black men because when all of us are gone, who's going to protect your ass? Black women, stop celebrating the downfall of black men because when we are all gone, who's going to protect your ass? My premise today is real simple. My premise today is very easy to comprehend. My premise today is so elementary that a third grader can understand it. Where are the charges of interstate sex trafficking? And where is the evidence of interstate sex trafficking? That is all I'm here to say. I need you to understand, overstand, and understand me. I'm not here to defend a freak off. I'm not here to worry about a thousand bottles of baby oil. I'm not here to defend domestic abuse because I would never. Black women suffer from it more than the women of any other race. I'm simply saying if the man is guilty of a federal crime, why can't the people know what it is? And if the man is guilty of a federal crime, why can't the people be briefed on the evidence that the government has? Y'all say we the people. This is what y'all say. We the people. That's what y'all always talking. We the people. Well, guess what? We the black people of America want to know why our brother can't get bail. We the people of black America want to know why our brother can't get bail. That's all. We the people want to know what is the evidence you have against Sean Puffy Combs. I will never support the lynching of a black man by a white man for any reason never if black america needs to punish our own then we should punish our own if black america needs to legally lynch or publicly lynch our own then we should legally lynch or publicly lynch our own if black america wants to psychologically castrate our own then let us psychologically castrate our own i have no problem with black america holding its own accountable but you will never see me stand with the government that enslaved my ancestors you will never see me i don't care what you negroes gotta say i don't give a damn what you self-hating negroes gotta say you will never see me stand with this government against any African on this planet. You will never see me stand with a government that enslaved my ancestors and has yet to be held accountable for what they did to us. You mean to tell me you're going to bring somebody who looked like me before the court of law? You're going to bring somebody who looks like me before the court of law? To be publicly lynched in the name of justice, so you say. But you have yet to bring yourself before the law. So justice can be administered for what you did to my people for 248 years. You will never see me. Ever. Side with white supremacy against a black man or black woman. It doesn't mean I support what they did. It doesn't mean I condone what they did. It simply means that how can a criminal hold a criminal accountable? I'm going to say it again. Let me make this real simple for you politically uneducated, emotionally undisciplined Democratic Party plantation slaves. How can a criminal 
hold another criminal accountable. Let me do a couple tap ins. Who tapping in? Who tapping in right now? I'm going live. Who tapping in? This is the prince of Pan Africanism. The notorious RBG. Who tapping in right now? What you got to say about Puff? For some reason, they not let me do no tap-ins. For some reason, the white power structure is not let me tap nobody in. Why they not let me tap in? They not let me tap nobody in. Let me try again. They not let me do no tap-ins, brothers and sisters. There's a conspiracy. There's a conspiracy. There's a conspiracy. They not let me do the tap-ins. Where the tap-ins at? Where the tap-ins at? Brothers and sisters, they are not letting me tap y'all in. They are not letting me. Go ahead and make a request. I'm viewing the request. Let me see. They not letting me tap in, y'all. I don't know if Scamala Harris is doing this. I don't know if Donald Trump is doing this. I don't know if the FBI is doing this. They are not letting Dr. Umar tap in no family right now. Restart the live. Let me restart the live. Let me see. Let me restart the live. We're going to go straight to the tap ins. I'm shutting this down and I'm coming right back with a new live to see if I can restart. 